Let's take a look at how to use displacement maps using Adaptive Subdivision. To download the textures, you can find the link in video description. First, I'm going to add a cylinder, scale it on the Z axis, and delete the top and bottom faces. Then add some loop cuts. This is just to prevent topology problems. Now with the Ignite tool, I'm going to cut this part. And delete the faces. Next, add a solidify modifier. Increase thickness. And there are some overlapping vertices. Just enable auto merge vertices and press G twice, G, G, to slide the vertices and merge them. I'm gonna apply the modifier. Now to create the UVs, select all the faces, hit U, and for this I used a cube projection. Now create the material. And to add all the textures at once, we need the node Wrangler alone. Make sure it's enabled in Preferences, Add-ons. Now select the shader and Control shift t Select the color, normal, roughness, and displacement. In Render Properties, make sure to use Cycles, Experimental, and GPU Rendering. Now in Material Properties, under Settings, in Displacement, change from Bump only to Displacement and Bump. One more step, we need to add a Subdivision Surface Modifier, use Sample and enable Adaptive Subdivision. And now I'm going to increase the scale to tile the texture. Here in the displacement node, we can control the displacement scale. We can also change the subdivisions in render properties under subdivision. This is for the viewport and by default it's in 8 pixels. The lower the value, the better we look, but also we'll need more resources. So, if you run out of VRAM while rendering, try to increase Dicing Rate Render, for example to 1.2 or even more, it's just a matter of experimenting. And by doing this, this will render faster. Now to mix the textures, duplicate the shader. I'm gonna add a mix shader here and connect the shader into the second slot. Add the new textures. And I'm gonna add a noise texture here. Connect to factor and also add a color ramp. With the sliders we can change the contrast so we can control the texture's visibility. With Ctrl Shift click on the color ramp to preview the noise texture so I can see better what I'm doing. Also select the noise texture and press Ctrl T and I'm gonna use object in mapping. Control shift click in mix shader to toggle back to the material. To mix the displacement textures, I'm gonna add a mix color and place it before displacement. Now connect the second displacement to mix color. And I'm gonna use the same color ramp and connect to factor. A subtle change, but I think it looks a little better.
And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you.